the day after the night before, and still people are talking about VAR at Wembley, Spurs and Rochdale. What's your take on, on what happened last night? Um, I think, the, as far as VAR is concerned, the problem they're having is implementing it, how to use it efficiently so that it doesn't take too long. Yep. And, and that will come in time. So, listen, everybody has to calm down and just give it some time. Danny Rose was asked his opinion as well. Shall we take a look and see what, what he said? And it's, it's pretty strong stuff as well. Complete nonsense, if you ask him. Uh, waiting around, not knowing what's going on. Ridiculous. Not just one ridiculous, but two ridiculous. Stevie, uh, he's saying, he's had a few messages saying it's a, a shambles. Now, it's not been rolled out across the board, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talk it might happen at the World Cup. Would you like to see it at the World Cup being Absolutely. Used? You would. Listen, the, the, the VAR itself is a fantastic tool for a referee. Now, how you use it is a different ball game, but the actual, the idea behind it, in my opinion, is fantastic. I mean, I think straight away when you ask me that question, I think of, of England, mm -hmm. 2010, World Cup against Germany, Lampard, ball goes in off the yeah. crossbar. It, it can, but but it, that's goal line technology. That, hold on a second, but it's, at the same time, if, it, if you had VAR, well, they could have had it gone and looked at it. it and that completely changes yeah. the whole game. So the VAR itself is fantastic. It's how it's implemented and used. I think it would be hard for many people to disagree with what you've just said because you're, you're right. When it works, it works really well. It is a great tool. Right now, it's not been rolled out, uh, rolled out across the board. We've seen it in the FA Cup and in the Carabao Cup as well. There have been one or two issues. We've seen that in other leagues as well. Is it too much, therefore, to use it in this World Cup? If we are sitting here during June and July going, I can't believe the mess of VAR last night, why did they do it? Is that a possibility? Could that happen, that it might be introduced too soon? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, um, you, would, you would like to see it in the World Cup being used properly. Uh, I can't sit here and tell you that between now and then, Referees around the world are going to be able to That's promise that. But I'll tell you, I will not change my mind. And Danny Rose, <laughs> if Danny Rose is in the England squad and he's playing against Germany again, <laughs> and the same thing happens and there's no VAR, he's the very man that would be asking for it. Oh, no, of course. The other thing is as well, there is a danger introducing VAR at the World Cup that those that might have to make the decisions haven't been trained on it or don't use it every week on a league basis, that could be a concern Do you as know, well. uh, yes, <laughs> but I think you've got to also remember that we're talking about VAR, but that doesn't take away the human element of using it uh, and looking at it and getting it wrong. Yeah. Because in the Tottenham game, the referee used it, looked at, at situations, and in my opinion, got them horribly wrong. So, you know, it's, VAR's never going to guarantee anything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to, it's going to help. And that's what it's for. Just finally, if it was introduced back when you played, would you have had even more medals? Or thinking back, would you have had fewer medals than you ended up if things had been reviewed? Um, do you know, I can't, I can't really remember in a, in a big game. Do you, do you know what I would say? Liverpool Wimbledon FA Cup final. Because it was never a foul that led to their free kick that led to Sanchez's goal. No, it wasn't. But I, I can't imagine they would uh, use VAR on a foul out on the right hand side. No, but if it led to a goal, then again, that's gone back. But if it was in use back in your day, would you have been happy? I wouldn't have had a problem with it. There you go. The views of former Liverpool defender Stevie Nicholl are not the views of several others.